Hello Scorpio, this is your April 2018 general reading. I'm doing the mini Celtic cross because I wanted to have fast energies or hopefully fast. Um, hope you had a good March. I know I'm reading this kind of early but I wanted to do before Mercury and retrograde. Get it out there. So this is for Scorpio. April 2018 general reading. Scorpio. April. Got some hope going on there. Maybe with more than one person. Maybe more than one option coming your way. You may not like any of them though. You're hopeful. April 2018 Scorpio. April 2018 Scorpio. Because I was a mini reading, I didn't want to add that to it. I want different cards if I can. If you need to get a hold of me, I'm at www.myterrorchannel.com. If you need a reading, also with Instago. It's also on my website. It's for iPhone users, that one. But what you got coming towards you, again, is hope. Now, this time it's in reverse overall energy. It fell out as upright. So I'm thinking even with the card reverse, it's a positive card. You're having hope. You're having hope. Uh... Maybe even a little bit of a wish. I believe in wishes. Could be, ooh, you may have actually more than one option. You may feel trapped with that options. You ended something in the past and then started something else. Yep, 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 Scorpio. Scorpio. You have options. The first... As a subject line, you got the Princess of Swords and she's in reverse. It could be a man, male, female, doesn't matter in these general readings. The uh, It's an air element, or they have a lot of air-like qualities. And that's Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini. And what's crossing it is the Ace of Cups, a passionate new beginning, an emotional new beginning, an offer of love, possibly. More of emotional nature. And you like kind of like your independence. Now this person could be offering it to you or you offering it to them, but someone likes their independence. Give me another card for the Princess of Swords Reverse. There you go. But someone may be obsessed. I think I had this last month, for last month, for March anyway. Someone's feeling, or maybe it's Mercury in retrograde. Someone's feeling a little obsessive, chained to a certain situation. Maybe you're feeling chained to each other or just chained in general. What has chained is you feel like you can't leave a situation or sometimes you may be a little obsessive over it or maybe there's like a slight addiction. And I think an addiction is more or less towards the other person. Maybe someone cares about someone just a little bit too much. They're thinking about them too much maybe. In the past, the universe occurred, the world. The world is your oyster as I call that card. In other words, something did end but a positive new beginning comes after that. So in the past, you probably ended something and you started something new, something a whole new world for you. Something that wasn't, you know, you had to think about or work towards. I need a card for the world card. We already got the seven of wands, I mean the, the nine of wands reversed. And that's someone who's contemplating work, but it's a reverse. Someone's not contemplating work, they're not putting no effort into whatever they got rid of. And they're starting something new. The world card, why are you there? Why are you there for Scorpio? This could be your energy. It also could be a Pisces. This could be intuition. Something of a mystery. Something, something exciting, new, a mystery to you. Your intuition is kicking in. Scorpios are known for their intuition. So you may be using that, starting something new in your life, in your world. So... As a goal, you got the Queen of Swords and she is in reverse. So your goal could be that you want this Queen of Swords in reverse or trying to get away from this Queen of Swords reverse. Now remember, we have the Princess of Swords here. This is the same air element. Why is she there? Why is the Queen of Swords there? Why, 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 why? Yeah, you're trying to keep strength. Maybe with this Queen of Swords, you may be thinking about being with this Queen of Swords. And you're trying to regain strength in it. Because she is reversed. 
Maybe she's angry. Now, as a foundation, you're feeling a little trapped in a situation, or at least you think you are. With the Eight of Swords, it's someone who feels trapped, but they're not really. They can get out. They just can't see it. You may be feeling trapped over this Ace of Cups, Devil type situation. Or maybe someone else is feeling this way towards you. Remember, I told you the Devil card feels chained. This person feels trapped as a foundation. Why are you there, Eight of Swords? Why are you there? You're feeling a burden. You weren't here now in the past. You were like, I'm starting, I'm ending something. I'm starting something new. I'm not going to think about work because at the time, at the foundation, was causing all this, you felt trapped and a burden to, towards something. Now you got the Three of Swords as a, as, as a near future. I'm hoping that will come out in April, if it's going to come out at all. This may not resonate with all of you, and you can change these situations up. You may not be able to change that Devil card, because you're going to feel chained. You're going to feel chained, but it's not like you cannot overcome the Devil, but it's there. Three of Swords, why are you there in the near future? And the overall energy, the ending energy, I should say. Sorrow, they call it. Three of Swords, why are you there? I'm feeling you got to make a decision. Queen of Wands, so you may have a decision between, because this is a three type of situation, there's three parties here, and I'm seeing earthly elements. I'm seeing like Piscean type energy. I am seeing air energy. I'm seeing fire energy. The fire energy is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I'm thinking there could be a choice or a situation that you feel burdened and trapped in between two different other people. And one of them has a lot of air element and the other one is uh, possibly a fire sign. They're both in reverse so nobody's happy here over this third party type situation and are feeling trapped, feeling burdened over it. Now I'm going to ask for an advice card for Scorpio because Scorpio's got a lot on their plate here. And I knew and I knew that uh, Seven of Cups did come out and a wish that came with it that the options, there were so many options and those options are not always good because you may feel like none of them are good for you right now. So let's find out. We need an advice card for Scorpio. Three of Wands again, looking for something come in. You may be wanting something else. It also could indicate, again, a third-party situation. It's not telling us much for advice. Let me get one more card for that one, then. Yeah, Three of Wands. Why is that the advice card? I need another card. Scorpio. Yeah, it's telling you to move on from troubled waters from this third-party situation. There's a three, and usually I don't usually think that with just this on its own, but also could mean, and I'm, I'm saying this, not for all Scorpios, some of you could be actually moving because you've got two moving cards next to each other. So the advice is, what is the advice the universe is telling you? The six of Swords, moving on from troubled waters, and three of Wands could be moving too, going towards something or someone coming towards you, but with that six of Swords, it's telling you to move on from troubled waters. Move on from all the chain devil situation. And apparently you're able to do that if the universe is giving you this advice. You have this in your uh, power to overcome whatever's going on and you can move on because the universe just more or less gave you permission to move on. You do not have to be the eight of swords, a trap situation. Okay? So move on, Scorpio. You got good things coming, okay? If you go for them, go to calmer waters from troubled waters, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.